Oh man, it is hot outside today. I think, uh, I think today is a good day to talk about heat management as a rider. Let's roll that intro and let's get into it. All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. So today, as you saw, is 100 degrees flat, 106 degree heat index. So I decided, you know what, let's, let's, why not do a video about heat management? So with that being said, I gotta say, riding in extreme heat, oh, hold on, railroad tracks, isn't a whole lot of fun. Mainly because hot is just hot. Instead of just sitting there cooking like you're on a frying pan you get you know hot temperatures with hot air blowing on you it's just like being in a blast furnace it's not it's not great in my opinion I could be wrong I could be wrong I don't have a great time riding in 106 degree temperatures not what I would call joy ride uh, temperatures but I'm coming home from work, so, you know. So I thought we'd talk about what I do here. So, first of all, you might notice I don't have my windshield. And as much as I don't enjoy um, hot air blowing on me, I enjoy less being in a hot air pocket and not getting, you know, enough uh, wind movement to evaporate sweat that keeps me cool. So that's the first thing I do is in these hotter temperatures, I pull off my windshield. So after that, it all comes down to clothing, right? On my feet, I switch out my uh, traditional, uh, I believe they're TCW uh, drifter boots, and I go for the Icon Stormhawk boots and there I love these boots because they're comfortable enough to where I can use them at work as well there is no steel toe boot requirement where I work now like there like there wasn't my previous job so these uh, soft toe Stormhawks actually work really well for me I can I can wear them on my motorcycle and feel secure about my feet and I can wear them at work. After that, up, up my legs, normally I would be wearing chaps because since I have no real locker at work and no real way to store gear that, that, isn't, that isn't convenient, let's say, because there's no, there's no dressing room, no nothing like that, right? I just work on a machine shop floor. And so normally I just wear chaps to work and back and that provides some protection for my legs and indeed they work really well because when I had my motorcycle accident um, that's what that's what saved my legs but on temperatures like this I tend to not wear the chaps kind of take my chances that way and so far nothing horrible has happened and my legs, uh, you know, they get nice air across them when they're not completely blocked off by the heavy leather. And unfortunately, like I said, where I work, there's no real changing rooms or anything like that. So wearing, you know, motorcycle jeans that are actually uh, Kevlar lined and armored and all that jazz. Uh, one, there's no way I'd wear them to work and work in them. Uh, and two, like I said, I, I don't really have a way of dealing with that, so I just wear jeans with chaps. Now, my jack, my gloves, those are uh, Icon Pursuit Classics. They've got uh, perforations, they've got uh, armoring on the knuckles and on the uh, palms. They've got, uh, you know, little padded areas. And these are nice. They uh, let plenty of airflow through to my hands while still providing ample protection on my hands. 
my jacket that I'm wearing is a Revit Air Wave 3. It's a single, single season, full mesh jacket with uh, back plate. Uh, it's also got the shoulder, shoulder and elbow plates. And it's, it's really comfortable and it does let air flow through nicely. Now, as I said, though, hot is hot and hot air is, is you know, not the best thing to have blowing on you. So at least while I'm at work, I will take uh, whatever shirt I'm wearing and I will just absolutely drench it in cold water before I go uh, get off shift or after I get off shift and uh, before I get on my bike. And so I'll just drench that, sh that shirt, you know, completely sopping wet, no wringing it out and put it back on. And then I'll put my jacket on over that. And like right now, that's what I'm uh, doing. And I feel like I'm riding in a vehicle with air conditioning. It works that good. And I believe, I could be wrong, I believe the mesh jacket actually slows down the evaporation process by not allowing all the air to get to me. So like this drenched shirt will last me until I get up here to the next town and that's about oh, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, roughly. And then after that, it'll start, uh, you know, really drying out and I'll start warming up again. But I still, by the time I get home, I still won't be, you know, overheated by any means. I'll, the, shirt will, the shirt will still be damp and, uh, you know, it'll be, I'll be warmer than I am now, but I won't be hot. And then lastly, to deal with the heat, like today I might have done it if I wasn't filming, but I run a full face helmet and I have at times popped my visor completely off so that, you know, I just have an open face. And that's where my glasses come in. My glasses I have to wear regardless because they're prescription and I have to have them and I have to wear them to drive legally. But the type of glasses that I got um, are motorcycle specific and their impact and safety rating was higher than what my work requires. So again, I have dual purpose motorcycle gear and my glasses, if I take my visor off, I'll just keep my glasses on and I know that they'll protect my eyes from any debris or, or anything like that. So there you have it. That's my, uh, those are my ways of dealing with uh, really hot temperatures like what we're going through right now. And quite honestly have gone through the better part of this week. Yesterday and Wednesday was really nice, but you know, these are the tricks that I have been using this week and uh, I will continue to use. Anyways, I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, if, you see th if you see this and you ride, uh, let me know what you do in the summer, how you manage the summer heat. Anyways, that's all I've got. Stay cool and you all be good.